So you're thinking about moving to Boston, Massachusetts and the Eastie area caught your attention and you're wondering what it's like to, you know, really live here. In this video, we're going to be discussing everything you need to know about East Boston. So if you're relocating to Boston, What's up everybody, this is Joe from the Turco Group right here in Boston, Massachusetts. If this is your first time to this channel and you wanna know everything about working, eating, sleeping, living, and playing here in Boston, and you know, in this case, Eastie, make sure you tap that subscribe button, click the little bell so that you're notified every time we do a new video. Honestly, we get so many people that are just reaching out every single day with calls, texts, emails, and it's because they're relocating here and they want to work with us and we absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about, you know, moving anywhere in the area, relocating or coming here to stay, make sure to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or even send Paul Revere. Days, nights, weekends, however you want to get a hold of us, we've got your back when moving to Boston. All right, guys, so I want to kick this video off nice and fast and kind of get right into things because what we're here for is East Boston and it's everything you need to know when you're moving to Boston and you're thinking about Eastie. So let's really just roll right into it and have some fun. I know a lot of people are going to say that, you know, there's some things that you don't necessarily like. There's going to be some things that are a little controversial and hey, give me your opinion on it. Tap that comment button, shoot us, you know, a little bit of commentary and let us know what you're thinking about East Boston. But here we go. All right, so if you're gonna be living in Eastie, one of the things that you have to know about is some of the different things to do in the area, some of the different amenities that are there and reasons why you're gonna just actually be excited. So what I am gonna tell you is you have to get out to Piers Park and you have to move your body a little bit. You have to, you know, do some running, do some hiking, do some of their different classes that they have going on there. But if you like to exercise, you're athletic and you need to know, okay, I'm in the city, I'm in Eastie, I need a spot to have, you know, room to move. Where am I going? Piers Park, your number one spot. It is phenomenal. Okay, so if you didn't get enough from that, you gotta then go over to the Belle Isle Marsh. That's where you can just see all these gorgeous walkways, all this awesome kind of like marshlands and just nature and things that like you would never expect in the Eastie area. So if you're an outdoor person, that's where you're gonna be going. That's where you're gonna be heading. It's going to be awesome. Just another reason why I love East Boston. Now, I mean, because you need to know and that's what this video is about and we're not holding back. If you're thinking about Eastie, one of the things that you have to do is go on Facebook and look up the East Boston Open Discussion Group. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of a train wreck and a dumpster fire. And if nothing else, it's great for some laughs as well as getting to know kind of like what the vibe is. So if you wanna see people, you know, yelling about the new construction or the new condos or, you know, yuppies moving in or any number of different things. That is kind of like your trashy reading that, you know, you can laugh at and scroll through and kind of get an idea. Eastie is such a unique and awesome place with so many great people, but it seems like everybody just straight up that isn't awesome decided to hang out in this Facebook. So that's one of the things that I wanted to just put out there. And again, we're not holding back here. We're giving you all of the reasons that you need to know about living in Eastie if you're deciding to go there. So it's, again, an amazing place. And, you know, if we're looking at from a real estate perspective, you're like, okay, Joe, that's great. You told me about the parts. You told me about the Facebook group. You told me about a couple of these little things. Let's get to the meat of it. What is it actually like if I want to purchase a property there? Generally speaking, you're going to be getting a lot of condos. There's also some multifamilies. There's a lot of 
now luxury building condos that have gone up, but the median listing price for most places is 600,000 right now in 2022. The median rent is currently about 26 to $2,700. And it's one of those things where you can get a lot of good deals. So like, what can you buy in those price ranges? Well, let's say you want like a very petite, small condo in Jeffrey's Point. You can probably get one that is about 600 square feet, one bedroom, one bath for, I would say about $450,000. Now, if you want a little bit more space, you know, you want like a bi-level unit, you know, that's where they have the two floors and, you know, that has like a roof deck access and about a thousand square feet. So two bedrooms, two baths, you know, right here in Eastie, that's probably going to run you about 760 to $800,000. And it's where you have a lot of different options with what's in Eastie because it has that really eclectic mix of old and new properties. And if you're looking for something with character, that's like stereotypical Boston, you can get it. If you want that luxury, new, fresh, squeaky clean with amazing views condo, you can get it. I'm looking at you, Condor Street. Um, and that's kind of like the big thing. The other good thing to know is that you have access. It's super easy access with the water taxi going right into Boston proper, but you also have the blue line. So that's going to, you know, make it super easy because the blue line is one of the most reliable tees. It's where that train, it doesn't break down. I'm looking at you, red line. We hate you. Um, but the blue line is awesome. And it has, you know, stops at Maverick, it has stops at the airport, which is easy picking up friends when they're coming into the city. We also got Wood Island, Orient Heights, and Suffolk Downs. Um, you also then have the Silver Line. And that's kind of where it links right to South Station, Eastie, and then Chelsea. So you got all the different things that are going for it right there in that. So one of the best things about Eastie though, is just the fact that it's super culturally diverse. It's also super walkable. It's one of those places where, you know, you can raise a family there and you can teach them about, you know, all the different aspects about life here in Boston and Eastie and it's accessible. You don't necessarily need a car. You don't need to worry about like, oh my God, am I in kind of like this, you know, far out place where there's nothing there. We have the supermarkets, we have the different shops, we have all the different luxury restaurants, we have all the great different things and it's all walkable. You can really go from one point to the other very easily and most of the time you're going to want to. I mean, we have some just beautiful parks that are dotted all around Eastie. And you know, that's what it's really like. You're walking around and I'm not gonna lie, it sounds cheesy, but you're gonna feel like you're on Sesame Street sometime because I swear the set of Sesame Street was ripped off right from East Boston. And that's really what you're seeing. Okay, so that's the thing. Just like, let's be honest. East Boston is kind of like the light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, well, the Callahan tunnel to be more specific. I mean, it's encompassing so much more than just, you know, Logan Airport, Easter. Eastie is like straight up undergoing a real estate renaissance. So it's, you know, always been an immigrant stronghold where the neighborhood has transitioned from like an overwhelmingly Italian in the early and mid 20th century to mostly Latino in the recent decades. And in the last few years, the neighborhood has become so popular with young professional due to its relatively reasonable prices and proximity to downtown that, you know, investors and developers have just capitalized on that. And the area's potential for buying and renovating and building up, you know, new properties has come in at like a breakneck speed. It's one of those things where the result is where, you know, you can buy like dollar pupusas within steps of million dollar condos. I mean, 
it's kind of crazy where, you know, some of those condo complexes have super unimaginative names. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking at you, Boston East. Um, but this rapid gentrification has led to kind of some extensive conflict and displacement in the neighborhood. I mean, you're seeing many residents of Jeffrey's Point neighborhood. They've kind of seen their harbor views blocked off by all these luxury apartment and condo buildings that have kind of, you know, been springing up every other day. Now, the great thing is, is if you're getting into one of those, it is awesome. But it's also kind of like that's the real deal of like what Eastie's like right now. Um, and, you know, not everything is kind of just amazing Pierce Park, luxury condos and, you know, good access. I mean, there are some things that, you know, you just have to know about Eastie. And I mean, one of those things and, you know, comment below if I'm missing anything because I want to hear from you. But if you've ever attempted to enter the Sumner Tunnel in the morning, you know that East Boston traffic is just simply put horrendous. And, you know, it feels as if, you know, there's never any parking and, you know, people are always just livid about airplane and airport noise. And let's be real, at the end of the day, it feels like Tedesco towing is waiting around every corner, just, you know, licking their chops because like oh my god somebody parked in the wrong spot for like five minutes to bring in groceries like it's it's not even funny but that's kind of where things are right now in Eastie and I mean it's you know not something that we want to like cast everything in a dim light though I mean you know if you take a glance at one of the neighborhood's main beautiful green spaces you know like Pierce Park you're think you know you're in some TV studio set or that, you know, you're in this just super quality, gorgeous place because it is. So it's kind of where you have this clash of old and new mixing. And I mean, it's kind of amazing if that's what you're there for. And compared to a lot of other parts of Boston, it's actually super affordable. So I just had a client that moved from New York and they were you know, super excited because they got this great, and I mean great, brand new build, new construction, luxury condo on Condor Street. And I mean, it has views overlooking the water and they're a young family just getting started out. And they were excited because they had been priced out of, you know, places like Mission Hill or the Back Bay or the South End. And they just, they couldn't compete. But when they came to Eastie, they could get all the quality amenities that they wanted. They could get all of the things that like they were excited about living in Boston and they did so affordably. And it's where they got Got in and they got everything that they needed and wanted and have been super excited ever since. So that's kind of why, you know, if you're watching this and you're thinking about, hey, is Easty for me? Reach out, shoot us a text, shoot us an email, shoot us, you know, whatever you want. I mean, don't send a carrier pigeon. I mean, Paul Revere might be a better shot at getting to me, but, uh, you know, that's the thing. And that's really what I love doing. And part of why I make these videos is I love helping people that are relocating. I personally relocated here after, you know, I was born in Boston and I only lived here till I was seven. Then I moved out of state. And then prior to coming back to Boston, I lived overseas. So I had been bouncing all around. So I know what that feeling is like of, oh my God, I need to know what's going on. I need to know, you know, where am I going to? What is it gonna be like? Who's gonna be around? What are the type of, you know, places where I'm going to feel comfortable and fit in? So, you know, there's so many different reasons why East Boston is just simply amazing. I know we've gone over a bunch of different things and we've looked at a lot of them, but if you're looking for a great opportunity for, you know, a condo, it's there. If you're on the investing side and you want a multifamily investment, this is probably the best up and coming area of Boston to invest in. And if you're looking for a single family house, well, there's a few of them, but not too many. Um, 
but yeah, we love helping people. So the biggest thing is, is if you do need help or you do have a question, reach out privately. Our information is below. Send us a text, shoot us an email, give us a call, days, nights, weekends. We're here for you when you're moving to Boston and especially in East Boston. Any questions, let me know. But until the next video, can't wait to see you. Can't wait to help you out. Have a great day. This is Joe Turco with the Turco Group signing out.